the HomePod Mini, the smart speaker from Apple. What do I think of it after one year of use and do I like it? In this video I'm going to tell it all and I will also tell you what you can do with it. So let's get started. So I have three HomePods on the moment, two HomePod Minis and the original HomePod. I will say the HomePod Pro, but yeah, Apple stopped making them. I would love to see Apple making a new version of the 2018 HomePod, but I will make another video later on that subject. But this video is about the HomePod Mini one year later, so I have a black and a white HomePod Mini. I bought them back in December 2020, so it's for me almost one year that I'm using them. I really like the HomePod Mini design. The white and the black fabric mesh looks so clean. I love it. It just looks like an Apple product. I also love the LED panel on top of the HomePod Mini. If I ask for Siri, then it shows, of course, the Siri animation. And if it is playing music, then the LED panel is white. And if the HomePod is updating or restarting, then it shows a white circle animation. At the bottom of the HomePod Mini is the Apple logo. And the cable that comes out of the HomePod Mini is a braided cable in the color of the HomePod Mini. Apple now sells also blue, red and yellow colors. So now people can choose out more colors than ever before. I will say yes and no. Siri is not stupid, but it is also not smart, and I will tell why. First of all, I will say Apple is making Siri slowly better and better every year, so maybe in 10 to 15 years it will be perfect. I believe there is not a perfect smart assistant, they're all not that smart. So at what point is Siri good? First of all, HomeKit and Siri work fantastically together, I use it every day for my lights and stuff. I had earlier a Google Home Nest Mini, that I got free by something, so I tried using it for a smart home, but that did not work out pretty well, it was sucking so much. Much. Google was not understanding what I was saying. I could not make a scene, so it was not good. Siri does what it needs to do. If I say gaming, it turns on the scene that I want. Also, if you say haste, it turns on most of the time. So for me, Siri is the best assistant. It just works and will be better over time. Of course, maybe it's Google Assistant or Alexa better for you, but for me, it's Siri perfect. And yeah, it can get better at every point, but it just works fine. First of all, the sound is just amazing good for the size of speaker, because the speakers direct it downwards at 360 degree sound as produce it. The sound pushes it off on the surface where the HomePod Mini is on, so how or where you place the HomePod Mini you will hear sound from every side, really great. The bass is so good for this size of speaker, the reason is that Apple uses two cancelling passive radiators, so that is why the bass is really good in this small size speaker. From iOS 15 the HomePod Mini is now support loseless audio, through Apple Music, so that is a welcome function. And if you turn the volume up to 100%, the sound will stay balanced and crisp. So I love what Apple did with the sound. There is also an Apple Watch chip inside the HomePod Mini, that analyzes the music that you're playing for the most optimized sounds. So first of all I will show you some scenes that I use. The first one is gaming. If I say hate gaming, then it turns on my lights and the colors and also the light brightness, the way how I set it up. I don't know why I named the scene gaming, because mostly I don't game anymore. Most of the time if I use the scene gaming, it's because I'm working on my PC. So yeah, the next scene is watching TV. If I say hate watching TV, it turns on the lights again in my room, also the color and the light brightness. To be honest, I still use basic scenes. But if you put more work in HomeKit, you can do so much more with it. Like in my watching TV scene, I can also add my Apple TV. But I did not have the time yet to do that. But soon I want to spend the whole day on making scenes and try to customize everything in HomeKit. Not everything is possible in HomeKit, but you can use Siri shortcuts to make more complicated scenes. I also use Siri to turn on the thermostat. I can also ask for the air quality in home and much more. This is something new in HomePod OS 15. Now you can also ask to turn on the Apple TV and turn it off. You can also ask to open YouTube on your Apple TV or some other apps that are installed on your Apple TV. So the next thing is of course music. I do use Apple Music that works the best, but there are also other music apps that work with Siri on the HomePod. And if you use Spotify, sorry, but that does not support HomePod yet. It's up to Spotify to make it work with the HomePod. But I think Apple Music is lately much better than Spotify. If I want to listen to music I ask Siri to play some music, then it plays some music from a library and music that I maybe like, and for me that works pretty well. You can also ask Siri to play some music from an artist and the name of a song. Sometimes I just do handoff, that means if I tap my iPhone to the HomePod mini it will transfer the sound from my iPhone to my HomePod mini. This also works on the original HomePod, but the only thing that is different is in the HomePod mini is the ultra wideband chip. That means if your iPhone is coming closer to the HomePod mini it will give an animation, and you feel a really nice vibration, and how closer you you get how hard it will be and then the animation will pop open. It is really hard to explain but it is really nice. You can also ask for the weather, ask directions to a city and a store or ask if the stores are closed or open. This is what you can do with the HomePod Mini and of course you can do so much more with it. 
Overall, the HomePod Mini is a really good smart speaker with good sound and a beautiful design. I would say after one year of use, I do love the HomePod Mini and I use it every day and I think you will too. I recommend the HomePod Mini if you use Apple Music and if you have HomeKit and of course if you want to use Siri. And by the way, the HomePod only works if you have an iPhone, iPad, a MacBook or an iMac. It will not work with an Android phone, so keep that in mind before you buy one. The price of $99 for the HomePod Mini is just a really good price, what you get for it is insane. I will say good job Apple, I can't wait to see the future of the next generation. HomePod Mini and the HomePod lineup overall. I think Apple can be a big player in the smart home. So let's see what the future brings. That was the video for today. I hope you got something out of this video. Please drop a like, subscribe and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.